recording here, is it level? Is it centered? Am I centered? That's fine. I'm not too happy with my skin tones, but there's um, not a lot I can do about that. Maybe some color grading. That will also be the audio sync. Uh, hi guys, what's going on? I'm gonna make an effort not to look at the top monitor up there. I'm just gonna be looking into the lens. I haven't uploaded since uh, a few years, I'm guessing, from my YouTube, but I'm gonna try and do more stuff on YouTube. A uh, video a week, I'll probably be talking about just my workflow, how I edit, how I color grade, what equipment I use, what equipment I don't like, um, and other stuff like that. My room is messy. This is the first time I've tried this setup because if you look at all cool YouTube videos, they've got lights in the background. They're not mine, they belong to my roommate. And just workflow stuff. I wanna try and get more creative and um, develop my creative skills when it comes to editing. And I wanna do that for YouTube. I wanna have an outlet where I can be creative and make things and stuff. And hopefully help some people along the way. I guess this video, we can talk about lenses. So in regards, oh. So in regards to lenses guys, one of my favorite lenses to use is the one I'm using right now. This is a 16, 17, 17, this is a 17 to 35 millimeter f 2.8 Canon L series lens. Now this isn't like one of the second or third series ones, this is the first series lens um, that Canon made. So it's autofocusing, if I move in close, if I move in further away, it's autofocusing is not the best, but I mostly wanted to use this for architecture stuff, which will be long exposure, open, oh, sorry, closed down to like F22, so it will be super sharp. Um, but it also helps with this kind of vlogging YouTuber format. Um, I'll grab another lens. I'm gonna keep this recording. <laughs> 50 mil lens. So let's try a cool transition. Whoa. Uh, there, cool. So, first things you might have noticed, this is zoomed in a fair bit more than the trusty 35, is it gonna focus on this? Than the 35 millimeter. Uh, you might notice it's a little bit slower. That's mainly because it's still an older lens, it uses an ultrasonic motor, and it's quite a bit louder. Um, you might not be able to hear it now, but I'm sure I'll put in a little audio tidbit of it, auto-focusing. But things you can notice, look how blurred the background is compared to how it was before. That's because this one's an f1.4 lens opposed to an f.2. That just essentially means how wide the aperture becomes. The more wide the aperture can open up, the more light they can get in. If you notice, my hands are probably looking a little bit faster. Um, that's because I had to up the shutter speed to get an even exposure. Because if I put it back at the, yeah, let's, let's do a test. I can probably change it. Yeah, so this is what the shutter speed was before. This is at 50, but it's, ah, it's so bright. While it's so bright, let's transition to another lens. Ugh. Ah, yeah, cool. Now, what we're on is a 24 to 70 f4. But Jackson, what's what's f4 with all these lenses? So this one was a lot brighter at 1.4. Now being f4, it's a fair bit darker. The way I had to compensate with this lighting is I had to put the ISO up. The shutter speed is still the same at 50, but of course, because this is aperture is limited at four, I couldn't stop it down anymore, so I had to compensate by adjusting the brightness. And I could do that artificially with the ISO. Good thing about this lens, it can zoom in to 70, so you have a hell of a lot of range to work with. This is pretty much my go-to everyday lens for basic photography. I'm walking out doing street stuff. If I'm just taking it to shoot some stuff with friends, this is my go-to. If I'm looking for more portraiture stuff, I'll be going for the 50 mil. And most of the people just call this a 50 or a nifty 50. This isn't the actual nifty 50 a lot of people talk about. Um, but yeah, you can do cool trash zooms. I wonder if the next transition is gonna be an awesome crash zoom into the other lens. Uh, ah, so you can probably tell this is really, really, really zoomed in. Um, this is at 70 millimeters. So 70 millimeters is what I had this other lens before when it was fully zoomed out. Um, at that one, that's 70, so this is the same. But this lens has the benefit of being able to go all the way up to 200. <laughs> and this is the lens at 200. So you might be able to tell it's really zoomed in. This is great for portraiture stuff. If you need to get really, really far away um, from your subject and you wanna be a bit hidden or you just wanna change the perspective of stuff, I might put up some examples. But yeah, this lens is not good for indoor use because it has a minimal focus distance of like two meters. Um, let's go back to a more appropriate lens. 
There we go. That feels a lot better now. Probably looks a lot better too. Any good photographer or videographer should have a really wide range of focal lengths and also aperture stops, essentially. Uh, T stops, F stops, ha ha ha. Um, some of you may or may not get that. Again, sorry about my room being messy. Uh, you wanna have a good range. It's because you don't wanna limit yourself to one lens or two lenses. If you're on a budget, I would say go for the Nifty 50. Those are around about $150. Um, always try and get the standard zoom lens to give yourself a bit more flexibility. Um, if you wanna be really, really, really extra and cool, go for a telephoto lens. Um, these are beasts, but they are expensive and they're expensive to maintain. But they look cool. When you see photographers, those are the ones. In the next video, I might talk about offshoot, offshoot flashes and different methods that you can do for that for image stacking. But yeah, this is just a short video, bit of an announcement saying that I'm gonna be doing more YouTube stuff. Um, more or less, this is a test. I hope my skin tones look good, not terrible. I hope my room will be clean in the next video, but we'll see what happens. Thanks guys. Um, like, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and all my other social medias. Ha ha ha.